Welcome to this video. This video explains the linear elastic isotropic U mat for elastic materials. This behavior is the simplest possible behavior in a material and needs only two constants, as you can see in this relation. First of all, we have the subroutine interface, and you can find this interface in the software help. After that, we have comments which show that this UMAT is for linear elasticity and this UMAT can be used for three-dimensional and plane strain and axisymmetric situation and cannot be used for plane stress situation. These comments also show that users should enter Young modulus and Poisson ratio in the GUI interface. After that, we define these three parameters which are real and in these lines, we read Young modulus and Poisson ratio from props variable and we calculate bulk modulus and also shear modulus. And finally, we calculate the Lamé constant. Having the elastic constant of the material, we can create the elastic stiffness matrix of the material, which is the Jacobian matrix in this case. These lines create the Jacobian matrix. At first, we create the part of the matrix that relates normal stresses to normal strains. We put lambda in all the components and then we edit components on the diameter. Then we create the part of the matrix which relates shear stresses to shear strains. For this part, we start from NDI plus 1 up to the end of the matrix. Having the Jacobian matrix, we can calculate the final stress at the end of the increment. We use a strain increment and the stress at the beginning of the increment to calculate the stress at the end of the increment. Now we have calculated two essential output of the UMAT which are stress at the end of increment and Jacobian matrix. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.